silver. Yeah. Hey, okay, this is the definition. Silver tongue. This is the definition of mystery. By the dictionary. Let me read all this. There's another script. Man. It's a fire script. I think it's Psalms 85. It says mystery. It says mystery occurs twice to eight times in the New Testament. And the person is present in the better MSS. Neither the word nor the ideal is found in the Old Testament. Rather, they came into the New Testament world from Greek paganism. Among the Greeks, mystery meant not something obscure or incomprehensible but a secret imparted only to the initiators. Only to the, oh, huh. the elder Gabar is going into the initiators. Did you see watch the video you did on that? Going to the, we're the initiate. not everybody's initiated. You know what I mean? He says, what is unknown unto, until it is revealed, this word is connected with the mystery religion of Hellenistic times. See, they go off a lot too. Yeah, Although occurring once in each, that's it. That's the elect. The elect is the only ones initiated. But actually, what do you look at? Exclusive. Oh shit! Look what I got in here. I got a Thanos comic book. <laughs> hold that for a second. Actually, I was gonna do a video on it and I forgot. What y'all know about this dictionary? This dictionary said Webster's new collegiate dictionary, but check this out. Copyright. 1956. Damn. Night. Hey, the old ones are way better. I got a bunch of dictionaries. This is my favorite one. It's from 1956. It's the best dictionary I got. It's amazing. I found this at a thrift store for a dollar. Oh shit! I just ripped the page. See all that boasting and that and the most I made me rip the page. So yeah, a good place to get dictionaries is definitely a thrift store. Every time I go to a thrift store, I see dictionaries. Dictionaries full of books. Yeah. It take a minute to look through the books at the thrift store. Really? It'll be working though. Oh, I just broke my garment. Oh no, to get out of here. That's copyright strike for sure. Goddamn Tupac, we're gonna be fucking, uh, what's that Interscope, we're gonna get a strike. I was gonna look up that word initiated if I could find it. I never looked that word up before. This is what we do, Alex. Uh, we look up words. We're not lazy. He got all excited and shit. My <laughs> sister walked past. I've never seen somebody get excited over a word. Wow. He was just drinking shit. It was so crazy. I just want to see where initiated come from. I bet it's Latin. It comes from the Latin. Initiatus means past uh, participle of any tiari. Initiate. I can't even say that. To introduce by a first act. To begin. That means to begin. To instruct to instruct in the rudiments and principles. That's what we're doing, right? We instructing in the rudiments and the principles. Well, what's the principle? Yeah, how is I the principle? Prince, that's what Prince, Prince means one. Pri means one, P-R-I. Uh, primary means one, the first. The Bible is the principle book on the planet. To instruct in the rudiments of principles. To admit to a club sect, sect means to cut or the like as by special rights oh we do have rights now there ain't no freemason shit no bugged out shit we do what the bible said you supposed to uh, drink the wine and eat the flesh like we do that on the passover so that's good though i like that too instructing the rudiments of oh no here well i'm gonna make my video now i found a uh 
I was reading this thing. My son was reading. Who was reading this? You? They know it's comic book. I just had it on. I didn't mean to bring it out. But uh, notice who's on the cover. Warlock. Well, actually, according to the Bible, Warlock got to get put to death since he's a warlock. But, uh, warlock was not an Infinity War fucking movie. He's the main character in the fucking Thanos Infinity Gauntlet story. But he's not even in the movie. That's why I refuse to watch it. You know they go off on I refuse to watch that shit. But he said this word in here since we're looking up words. I wanted to make a video on it. I'm just do it real quick right here. Because I find this to be an interesting word. But this is what Thanos said right here in this panel. See if you can read that. But he said mere weeks. He said mere weeks passed and a snap of my fingers could have handily dispatched Galactus. But currently, my personal power is Lily Pushin compared to his might. Yeah, he said my power is Lily Pushin. So you can learn shit from reading a comic book. What the fuck does Lily Pushin mean? Because <laughs> right now, our power is Lily Pushin compared to how it's about to be. You know what I mean? Because the Lord gonna get his power, right? Oh, you want that one, bro? I'm gonna look up that word, Lily Pushin. Because right now, our power has been Lily Pushiated. That's a good word, Lily Pushin. I'm gonna look it up. Cause my son was reading that comic book. He's dad, dad, what the hell you is this word? Have this right I had it, we was reading it. I had a case for it. Yeah, Thanos was always my favorite character until that movie came out. Now everybody's an expert on Thanos. Never even heard of Warlock. Don't even, never even heard of, uh, who created Stanos? Jim Starlin. Y'all don't know that. I, I don't want to see it. Because my homie's not in it. But the creator of Thanos said it was a good movie, so maybe I should watch it. Which one? Uh, Jim Starlin created Thanos. No, the which, Infinity which, which War. Which movie, though? The Infinity the first War. One? Or the second one. It's both the same movie, right? I can't find this goddamn word. Lily Pushin. Is Lilith, <laughs> a female evil spirit roaming in desolate places attacking children. <laughs> no, we're not talking about Lilith. Lilith's not even in the Bible. That's actually a screech owl. And that's what I'm talking about Isaiah 34. So you need to go through reading a dictionary learning all kind of shit. Hey, check this out. What's it that? Says, what is the range of the He's asking Thanos. Thanos says, that information is classified. <laughs> they know somebody do, man. Oh, hell no. You got an attitude on somebody that's real. But here's what Lily Pushin means. He <laughs> says, of or per pertaining to Lilliput, an imaginary island in Swift's Gulliver's, Gulliver's Travels, the inhabitants of which were six inches tall, hence diminutive, uh, dwarfed. One of these people, hence a pygmy. So if you say that you, you, your power is Lily Putin, it's, your power is diminished, it's dwarf. But soon we're gonna get our, our powers is gonna get enhanced. What's that that uh so we change we're gonna be changed in the twinkling of an eye. So you just don't know what, what kind of information you're gonna get in one of these videos. <laughs> I just I, I happen to have a comic book in my dictionary. Uh, he was acting like he was getting interested in comics because of those movies. But you know they ain't gonna sit down and read no comic books. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I forgot how to spell it. Hey, it's bad. The sun ain't that bright, is it? Got me. Here you go, this is a first Corinthians 15. First Corinthians 15 and um uh, 39, 38. But the most high giveth it a body and has still has a and to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fish, Listen and to this, another son. of birds. He said all flesh is not the same. 
Man, you got, because a, a tiger got a different flesh than a human. But look how strong a tiger gets. Them motherfuckers got so much muscle, they be weighing like, what, a ton or something? They be heavy as fuck. Look at the elephant. Look how strong that motherfucker is. I don't mean you can go fuck. Yeah, oh, don't tell that to Esau or Ham. Right, right. Shit. He done ruined his whole life. Shit, Jay, Jay trying to make that money. Make the mess, next best Oh, he's from the pornos. Right, next best video. Shit, take an Israelite woman and take a horse dick to the ass and the throat. Right. Ooh. At the same time. Ooh. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. You hear that, son? Celestial bodies and terrestrial. So you got a celestial body is like an angel. An a angel don't have the same flesh as us. They don't bleed blood like us, you know what I mean? They like a celestial being. And where do you think they get that from the comic? The comic books got that from the Bible I met. Oh, like Jack Kirby said, uh, he got Galactus from the Bible. He said he was inspired, you know, first it was his vision of the Most High or some shit. And he said, you know, the Silver Surfer is based on the angel. And they actually called them, what did they call them, Cosmic Comics? Cosmic Celestial, same shit. All that shit come from the Bible. Like Jack Kirby said, the original superheroes is in the Bible. That's wild, that's not even in there. What's that? Celestial. Celestial, oh, look it up on my, uh, I already know it. That's where you get the word, uh. You need to tell me, they, they so scared of that word that they, you know what I mean? Oh, it's not in the Bible dictionary? No. I know it's a Latin word that means the cielo means the sky. That's where you get the word ceiling. You guys are nerds. Yeah. Yeah. Angels, they got different bodies. You got an example with uh, Tobit. And, uh, what's it? What's it? I think it's Raphael. Oh, yeah, yeah. Raphael. Yeah. So that's an example of how angels don't, they don't eat, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't sleep, they don't, they don't get tired. Oh know. yeah, cause uh, finally, in the book of Tobit, the angel Raphael, he had dinner with him, he was eating, but then he later revealed that he wasn't actually eating, it was just a vision. It was like a, he just appeared, so to make everybody feel comfortable. You know what I mean? Cause the angel can come and kick up with us now, well, the scripture said we entertain angels unaware. We could have already ate a meal with an angel before. You don't know that. But they make it appear that they eat, but they're not really eating. Did you know what did that? Yeah, the Most High himself did that. When he came to him, he came and ate a meal with Abraham. Exactly. Ain't that well? Right before he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, right? And that's when he said, Abraham is my friend. Mm -hmm. yeah, they said two men or something. You know it was the Lord. Yeah, they tell you how they keep preparing. Meal, yeah, something. I ain't read that in a minute, actually. Um, I got Celestial, though, if you want the definition. Celestial Empire? Oh, the former Chinese Empire. Uh, celestial. From the Latin, Celestis. Calium. Up pertaining to the sky or visible heavens as a celestial body. Up pertaining to a characteristic of spiritual heaven, heavenly divine. Ooh, check that out. And that's pretty much the point. Yeah, the blue letter says exist, existing in heaven, things that take place in heaven, the heavenly regions, heaven itself, the abode of the most high, and angels. Oh, angels. The lower heavens of the stars, the heavens of the stars, the heavens of the central, the heaven origins of nature. So they got a heaven, heaven, heaven itself, the abode of the most high and angels. So a celestial body is going to be like an angel. An angel has a celestial body. So that's why angels have superpowers. An angel, I mean, like I said, you know, they said Silver Surfer is based on an angel. An angel can come, literally come down and like shoot beams out of his hand and blow shit up. You know what I mean? Like Superman. Everything that you see in the comic books. Shoot laser beams out of their eyes and all that. They do what they teach us. It would be like a banshee, right? It's, uh, the uh, the X-Men, the other man banshee. Well, his yeah, superpowers yeah, yeah. to scream. Yeah. He could just scream and knock out a whole building. And humans. Oh yeah, oh Black Boat. Is that his name? Black Boat? Oh, yeah. They can't be even talking, boy. It's just shit getting destroyed. It's an amazing cartoon when the uh, Avengers is going up against the humans. It's amazing. 
black boat. No, but he's old far talk. It's almost said, almost sounds like he says the most high name. He says a, it's a cartoon? Yeah, it's bad as fuck, too. What's that called? I'm gonna go get it. It's, uh, it's one of the Avengers, uh, Earth's mightiest heroes or whatever. Uh, just the other, because there's two of them. There's two of them. I'm gonna have to watch that it's one. bad as hell. I seen one that had the wrecking crew in it, that was dope. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was, that's some good shit. I was it's that same one or it's the other yeah, one. Yeah, okay, I gotta see that. But here's terrestrial. The meaning of terrestrial means existing upon the earth. So earthly. Earthly. So t yeah, that's where you get a uh, terror means earth. Like uh you hear people talking about they're going, yeah, terrain. Yeah, that's a good word. Or terrain. Territory. Territory, there you go. There you go. It goes on for days. See, words explain everything, man. It says there are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. So there's a difference. Um, but the glory of the celestial celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. But one star different from another. 